Okay, Carl, uh, thanks for that. Um, I suppose many people believe, and it's not just Sinn Féin or Sinn Féin uh, TDs or supporters believe that this tax is regressive, uh, it's, it's unfair, it's wrong. And uh, I think a lot of people believe that it'll create genuine hardship among uh, people in the community. And uh, we know that the crippling uh, tax was a brainchild of the Fianna, Fianna Fáil Green administration, which crashed their economy. But the, the government seems to have passionately advocated in favour of this new tax and determinedly uh, pushed ahead with its implementation. The tax is being pushed through, even though it makes no economic sense and hurts, particularly hurts those on low incomes. Uh, the tax, the, we know that, and I think there's common agreement that one in four mortgage holders are in mortgage distress, and many others are stuck in homes whose values have dropped and which they all paid stamp duty. They all paid large sums in stamp duty to the state, and the government wants more. Our domestic economy, again, there's agreement, is in stagnation. This tax will reduce disposable incomes and will have a negative effect on consumer spending and, in turn, I believe, in jobs. Um, many people will pay this tax, have paid the tax, but not because they agree with it. They've no choice. Revenue now has the power to raise pensions, social welfare payments, and PAYE workers' incomes directly. That's a fact. How are individuals and families going to pay this tax? We know that elderly people are going to bed earlier to reduce bills. Families are skipping a meal, are buying cheap cuts, are no meat, are no fish on certain days. Uh, turning the, heat, the heating on later are not turning it on at all. So if this tax is implemented, it will see families spend less because they have less, and particularly on their weekly shop. And that's, that's the concern I have. The other concern is that the wealthy can afford to give more. And this is the point of my speech. But we know from government budgets that that's unlikely to, to, to happen. The wealthy in Ireland are destined for more rewards. Now, we have ministers going on radio saying this. You know, we have to reward, and reward the entrepreneurs, reward the wealthy. And at the same time, we're cutting these people who are at the, at the, the end of their tether in relation. There's no more money there. So intimidated people will be forced to skip other bills because of this tax. Many believe the new tax will lead to a deepening of fuel and child power. And again, that's coming from those groups that are dealing with people in, in that. We know in 2012, uh, 20,000 people had their gas and electricity cut off because they couldn't afford to pay it. This figure, I, I believe, will rapidly increase if this tax is actually pursued by government. So why are we looking for um, a change in relation? We believe that there are alternatives. The lack of any realistic exemptions shows the arbitrary and cruel nature of this tax. And we heard the minister talk in terms of the 15,000 and 24,000, but it's kicking the can down the road, as uh, Deputy Stanley said. The government is saying they have no choice and place the blame at the door of Fianna Fáil and the Troika. But the Troika want the money, but they've told my party that ultimately this is the government's choice. Um, there is alternatives. We mentioned last night the a tax, 1% uh, tax on net wealth of over 1 million. Um, could bring in an estimated 800 million. Uh, Deputy Newman talked in terms, Minister Newman talked in terms of 500 million. But there's alternatives there. But the government is not looking, are not into looking at alternatives, and only seems to be interested in implementing austerity at all costs.